A lot of people are wondering how the damage from the weekend storm compares to the damage caused by the 2007 ice storm. But that damage was much more widespread, affecting all of northeastern Oklahoma, not just the city of Tulsa. And some people then were without power for weeks. This time around the heat, that is playing a huge factor, especially as we have those heat advisories. Jordan Tidwell takes a look at the comparison. The city says the damage to the power grid from this weekend's storm is the worst damage they've seen in the Tulsa area since the 2007 ice storm. Bill Davis has been working on cleaning up his property since the storm hit near 15th and Lewis. And once the storm went through and it was still raining a little bit, I come out to survey what happened and that's when I discovered my garden was tore up and, uh, and so I just started right then. He says he's done this type of cleaning before in 2007 when the temperatures were much different. It was a lot easier working out in the cold because once you start moving, you get warm. Or this, once you get moving, you get hot. Back then, he says he had bigger tree branches fall. This time, it's a lot of smaller limbs, and he's in okay shape power-wise because of his generators. Other than that, the cleanup's about the same, just takes a lot of time. We're seeing damage uh, that I think, uh, when it's all said and done, may not be quite as bad uh, as the 2007-2008 ice storm, but it's going to be close. In 2007, many people all over Green Country were without power for weeks. Mayor G.T. Bynum says the city is in better shape financially this time around with an emergency fund set aside specifically for disasters. We're confident that we have the funding. It's really as much as anything, it's a matter of time and personnel. Bynum says the main priority is restoring people's power. Until he can put away his generators, Bill Davis will continue to clean up the damage. Hopefully I'll be done tomorrow. Hopefully. In Tulsa, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.